restless, rebellious, and ready to be driven, I would like to proudly present the all new 2016 BMW 228i Coupe in black sapphire metallic. The BMW 2 Series Coupe is a luxury compact vehicle produced by the German manufacturer BMW since 2013. They are part of the 2 Series lineup. Although it is a successor of the 1 Series Coupe, it is continuing the BMW 02 Coupe as a successor in that segment. The name 2 Series is based on BMW rationalization of its model designation reserving odd numbers for 4-door sedans and even numbers for 2-door coupe and coupe-like cars. This particular model we have here today also comes equipped with the M Sport package, meaning it comes with the additional aggressive physical appearance along with the M Sport tuned suspension. This stunningly attractive 228i features a 4-cylinder engine that pushes out 240 horsepower. Lightweight and smooth running engine, it incorporates BMW award-winning high-precision direct injection, Valvetronic and double venous technologies. On the key fob, we have the unlock, lock, and the trunk release button. There's also an additional button on the back in which you can press to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock the car, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust note. This 228i does come equipped with a smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key somewhere on your body. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch right there. Here's the frameless door. Quick view of the interior. Interior does come in full leather. Looks very clean. Back seat. To start the engine, push your foot down the brake and press the start button located behind the steering wheel. Now let's go ahead and pop open the hood and see what the 228i has to offer. Simply pull this out once to initially open it, pull it out again to fully open it. Now all you have to do is simply lift it up. Under the hood, the 2016 228i features a 2 liter BMW twin power turbo inline 4 cylinder engine with high precision direct injection. The 4-cylinder engine pushes out 240 horsepower along with 255 pound-foot of torque at about 1450 rpm. It is a 8-speed sport automatic transmission. The 228i can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.4 seconds. And its top speed is electronically limited to 130 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the 228i gets 23 miles per gallon in the city, 35 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 27 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will vary depending on which driving mode the vehicle is in, eco, comfort, or sports mode. To further enhance gas mileage, there's also the auto start and stop function. When activated, the auto start and stop function will shut off the engine when it comes to a complete stop such as red lights or other idle situations. And immediately after you lift your foot off the brake, the engine will automatically restart within milliseconds. And of course, this feature can be turned on and off at any time by the driver. Up front, there's the power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the iconic BMW double kidney grille in black with chrome outlining trim. For enhanced visibility, there's the xenon headlights with halogen freeform front fog lights and halogen high and low beam headlights. Parking assists are also built into the front bumper to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. And as you can see, we also have the aerodynamic front bumper. Looks very sporty and cool. Here's a closer look on the side. Moving over to the side, there's the cornering light. 
Body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal, power adjustable feature including power folding and auto dimming function. Here's a quick look at the underside. With the M Sport package, the 228i comes with 18 inch 461M wheels with high performance tires. Behind the wheel, we have the four wheel ventilated disc brakes with anti lock braking system, dynamic stability control, start off assistant, brake drying, and brake standby features. All four wheels are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. Very sporty side view. To the back, there's the brake light behind the rear windshield. On top of the trunk lid, we also have the rear deck spoiler, which adds to the sportiness of the 228i. Moving down, we have the attractive tail lamp with the brake light and turn signal light. Parking assist and a rear view camera is also built into the rear. These are both excellent safety features to help the driver in backing out and parking. And as you can see, we also have the uh, twin chrome exhaust tip at the below end there. Now let's go ahead and pop open the trunk. Plenty of space storage there for a coupe. First thing we see there is the car mat, hook on both sides, user manual there, and here we also have a 12 volt car charge outlet, additional hook on the side here, storage compartment there, and if we lift this up, below here rests your car battery. You can also fold both back seat down to give you an extra storage compartment. And if you ever have to lock yourself in the trunk, you can simply pull this down to release yourself. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, simply push in. And it is recommended by BMW to use unleaded premium gasoline only. Here's to show you complete view the top. This 228i does come with a sunroof. And here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. We also have roof mounts on top of the car for you to hook roof rails on top to carry extra luggage. Now for a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Power window control and on top we have the side view mirror control and this small button here is used to fold and unfold the side view mirror. Press once to fold and press again to unfold. Very nice wood trim finish here. Side door storage compartment. M Sport door seal. Brake and gas pedal. Hood release lever. Trunk release button. We have the 8 way sport seat power control, including two memory seating. Here's a closer look at the driver's seat. Again, very clean and sharp. Very smooth seat belt. Now you can use this, lift that up to fold the seat and you can control the seat from sitting in the back there. Here's a closer look at the back. And again, I'm five foot seven, so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you have. And surprisingly, sitting back here feels pretty much just like the sedan. Complete view of the front for sitting in the back here. Two additional air vent. 
another 12 volt core charger outlet and the middle portion is raised up as you can see there back seat storage net and this back seat also has the built-in latch system for you to securely hook down your baby seat here same smoothness seat belt hook here and light control right above our head there are nothing in the middle council here you can adjust the headrest and we're back in the driver's seat here we have the three spoke M Sport leather wrapped steering wheel over here we have the uh, cruise control BMW logo in the middle with the horn over here we have voice command, audio mode control, volume control and bluetooth phone answering option standard gear shift paddle on the behind the steering wheel one on each side windshield wiper control you can leave it on automatic mode left and right turn signal over here and the button on the end is used to control the different display here move this lever down to control the steering wheel placement simply push it back up to lock into place driver air vent headlight control and interior auto dimming light storage compartment here on top we have the uh, driver sun visor with a slot for you to put uh, paper or credit card here small piece of mirror with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror you can move this whole piece over the side for better sun coverage and here we have the beautiful BMW display navigation system there two additional air vent and in the middle we have your hazard light control along with the door lock and unlock button and over here we have your engine start and stop button and on top is the auto start and stop button control audio control in the middle is where you insert your CD volume control here press down to turn the audio on or off complete dual AC heat climate control two cup holder and in the middle we have a, another 12 volt core charge outlet here we have a slot for you to put change or anything you need there and here's a gear shift box to control push your foot down the brake press a button on the side push up to put the car into reverse when you do so rear view camera automatically display and side view mirror automatically tilt down very nice safety feature as you can see the mirror is automatically tilt down giving you better view at the of the rear N for neutral and D for drive over to the left to put in manual sports mode after that you can push up and down to change gears or you can use the standard gear shift paddle behind the steering wheel there press P to park over here starting at the top we have traction control different driving modes control and your parking assist control manual parking brake BMW eye control it is multi-directional you can always twist, twist it and press down to select different display selection here here's the navigation view telephone view menu media and the back and option button same wood trim finish as you see on the doors there mirror armrest compartment can be slid up for better feel inside we have a USB input along with an auxiliary input glove box compartment and now to show you complete view of the dash on top we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the built in universal garage door opener also tell you which direction you're heading to currently in the northeast up here we have the different light control SOS for roadside assistant and in the middle we have your sunroof control here's our sunroof there's the tilt function on 
and here it is fully open all right guys that's all for today thanks everyone for watching and as always make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this card below for more future card reviews go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up also make sure to check out our official facebook page for our everyday activity again thanks everyone for watching and i'll see everyone in the next video review